we are going to talk about women in the workforce, especially in law firms. We all know that women are just as ambitious as men, if not more. But there tend to be more difficulties that women face as they rise up the leadership ranks. Uh, I spoke at a very uh, interesting panel recently where I was asked, how do women navigate organizational politics? And I recommended out there, and I would recommend to all my colleagues, that uh, let's look at organizational politics in a positive context, not in a negative one. Why can't we just look for the key stakeholders within the ecosystem who we can truly engage with and help our own careers and contribute to the organization more effectively? Because if we just choose to stay away and prefer to work in silos, that will be a naive point of view and also detrimental to our own professions. I think that uh, today the biggest hindrance for women professionals is not really the glass ceiling but the broken rung, the mid-level. It just so happens that just as women are putting in more years of experience into their profession, that tends to coincide with their professional and personal responsibilities as well. And sometimes they conflict. It could be because of marriage or uh, childcare or caring for elders. And that's when uh, women are slipping through the cracks. So what can we do as organizations to help women through this journey? Uh, now at Khetan we have been running several initiatives for the gender vertical. One of them is external facing where we collaborate with external organizations and host networking events. Because as a young woman partner, what I would truly value is if I'm given a network, which is a global network or a local network, and I can work this network and make meaningful connections and thereby build my own brand. And that is a real value add from any organization to any professional. We've been rolling out these initiatives for a while and actually it's won us awards as well and a very positive response from the industry. Uh, also, internally, we work on a number of initiatives like we uh, host these listening circles for women, which they use as safe spaces for coming together across levels and talking about the issues that they are facing within the organization or even externally and how to handle them. And that has seen great traction across all offices. And we also run other initiatives like, for instance, uh, rolling out mentorship programs which are specifically curated for women professionals and also online modules so that everyone is aware of what are the typical stereotypes or unconscious biases that all of us carry amongst ourselves and what that, uh, how that impacts a woman professional. So I really think that organizations should start tapping in to the women who have made it to the top because women who are in leadership positions are really ready to give it back and pay it forward. And it is for us organizations to channel this energy and help fix the broken down.